Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Femi Peters. Welcome to Fish or Fish Farm. If you're watching for the first time, kindly click on the like and subscribe button so you can get more updates from this channel. Thank you. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about bitter leaf juice and how you can apply it to your fish pond and use it to treat your catfish as well. Yes, bitter leaf itself the botanical name is known as venonia amygdalina yeah bitter leaf juice is an alternative medication in catfish farming it is cheaper to get it is organic and at the same time it does the job it is mostly grown in the west african regions i know we do have them in nigeria and I think they do eat them also in Ghana. Yeah, and uh, I believe it is also known in India as well, but I don't know what names they call them in those two places. Yeah, bitter leaf is rich in quinine, a compound which has been demonstrated to cure malaria, clean the liver, lungs, and few other things in humans. Yes, bitter leaf juice can be added to the pond water where your catfish are raised. And uh, the quinine in this bitter leaf juice helps to prevent the growth of algae and bacteria in the water. It, is also, it also helps to control the population of parasites and predators. It can be used to treat different types of catfish diseases you can actually apply the juice to your pond whenever you notice your fishes are no longer agile as they used to be uh, most farmers lose their fishes during the early stage of development especially during the fry stage fingerlings and post fingerling stages you can simply process this whenever you notice your fishes are dying floating or with swollen stomach no longer eating or they're not actually growing as you expected them to the process of juicing is very easy just pluck out the leaves blend them and um, you juice them and you can apply a, a, a liter of juice to a thousand liter of pond water it's as easy as that the plant to your left in the background, that's my beetle leaf. Actually, the two plants you're seeing now, they are my beetle leaves. Easily, they're easily grown on uh, any tropical weather, where there is plenty of sunshine. You can easily cut it from the stem and grow it, and it will easily germinate. You do not necessarily have to wait to see your fish is being sick before you apply this, as it can be used as a preventive measure. I will certainly bring in part three of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the like buttons. Yes, thank you for watching. You're highly appreciated. Thanks. Bye.